Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the high stakes world of loitering munitions with Enduril's Altia 600M, the modular tube launch powerhouse that's revolutionizing asymmetric warfare as a versatile ISR and strike drone capable of multi-hour endurance flights exceeding four hours and ranges up to 440 co-kilometers, all while integrating with AI-driven autonomy to enable one operator to control dozens of units for precision hits against high-value targets in contested environments from Ukraine's front lines to Taiwan's coastal defenses. If you're a drone tech enthusiast, a tactical munitions analyst, or simply captivated by the engineering fusion of open system modularity, hybrid propulsion, and collaborative teaming that packs a 3 kilogram warhead into a 12 kilogram airframe, weighing between 9 and 12 kilograms overall, you're in for a comprehensive and loiter locked deep dive. The Altia 600M, developed by Area Y and acquired by Anduril in 2022, isn't just a kamikaze drone, it's a fixed-wing, loitering munition with a modular nose for ISR sensors, electronic warfare payloads, or kinetic warheads, launched from canisters on ground vehicles, helicopters like the UH-60 Black Hawk, or even naval platforms, featuring autonomous coordinated strike capabilities and seamless lattice AI integration for swarm behaviors that make it ideal for suppressing air defenses or disrupting command centers. From its combat debut in Ukraine, where it's downed Russian assets, to Taiwan's first deliveries in August 2025 as part of a 291-unit US package, this drone has racked up field successes, incorporating gallium nitride electronics for jamming resistance and adaptive flight software for 100% hit rates in tests, making it a pivotal asset in modern kill webs amid rising peer threats. We'll unpack its extraordinary capabilities in exhaustive detail, provide a thorough technical overview grounded in the latest deployments and trial reports, explore its critical strategic role in US and allied asymmetric operations, sprinkle in some fascinating fun facts to enrich the narrative, and wrap up with the most recent developments as of November, including MQ-9 Reaper mothership integrations and global exports. So, tube launch the canister, cue the autonomy, and let's loiter lethal for everything you need to know about Anduril's Altius. 600M Loitering Munition the Altia 600 Meloitering Munitions capabilities elevate it to the pinnacle of a tritable precision strike systems engineered as a multi-role autonomous effector to dominate contested airspace with a synergistic blend of endurance, modularity, and collaborative lethality, allowing it to infiltrate high-threat zones like drone-saturated battlefields, maintain 360 degrees situational awareness through onboard sensors, and deliver devastating impacts against armor, personnel, or infrastructure, with a probability of kill exceeding 95%, rivaling larger missiles while offering swarm scalability for operations over theaters like the Donbas Trenches or Philippine Sea approaches. At its core, this munition excels in loiter and strike persistence, powered by a hybrid electric propulsion system, enabling cruise speeds up to 100 knots and loiter times over four hours at altitudes up to 15,000 feet, outpacing legacy systems like the Switchblade 600 in range by three times with a 440 kilometer envelope on a 12 kilogram airframe, giving it the stamina to circle targets for extended reconnaissance before diving in for terminal effects. Its modular nose cone derives from a swappable payload architecture housing electro-optical slash infrared gimbals for ISR scans up to 20 kilometers fused with electronic intelligence pods for signal geolocation, complemented by a 3 kilogram warhead. Configurable as high explosive fragmentation or tandem penetrator, that cues via autonomous target recognition without emissions all while the open flight control software supports collaborative teaming where one unit scouts and another strikes in GPS-denied environments. For integrated ops, the Altia 600M launches from diverse platforms like MRZR vehicles, UH-60 helicopters, or ground tubes for salvos up to 20 units with an engagement radius extendable via relay nodes, allowing a single Reaper mothership to deploy dozens over 1,000 kilometers, empowering dispersed teams to interdict Russian convoys in Kherson or shadow Chinese assets in the Spratlys. Its electronic warfare resilience, equipped with digital radio frequency memory analyzers, can spoof drone hunters or disrupt control links during saturation attacks. And the lattice autonomy kernel, 
with wide area virtual displays for operators, overlays augmented reality threat maps from the distributed sensor net, providing spherical vigilance for off-bore site handoffs, like swarm reallocations, enabling a single controller to manage complex engagements like simultaneous scouting and precision dives. The munitions relaxed stability design and crumple zones sustain dives up to six G-forces for terminal rams if needed. This multifaceted autonomy makes the Altius 600M a true swarm enabler, capable of leading disposable packs to sanitize corridors, escorting manned assets for layered penetrations, or executing standalone hunts with hyperspectral modes resolving camouflage at sub-meter fidelity through smoke, ensuring it remains a cornerstone of a trittable air power well into the 2040s. To fully grasp the Altius 600 Meloitering Munitions Engineering Ingenuity, let's explore its technical specifications and operational dynamics, as Endural's architecture fuses tube launch simplicity with modular sophistication, forging a drone that's as deployable as it is deadly. Measuring approximately 6 feet in length with a wingspan of 4 feet deployed and weighing between 9 and 12 kilograms depending on payload, Animated by a hybrid electric motor yielding 100 knot cruises and over four hours loiter at 15,000 feet. The airframe's carbon Kevlar composites with radar absorbent layers pair mass by 25% over rigid designs while enduring terminal impacts at Mach 0.8, courtesy of faceted inlets, canted fins deflecting returns, and ablative nose cones for heat and deployable wings sweeping 0 to 45 degrees optimize transonic stability for pursuits, conjoined with a ventral control section for your authority. Avionics Apex with the Lattice Autonomy Suite boasting 500 gallium nitride cores for interleaved ISR and strike modes, interwoven with the electro-optical turret of four mid-wave infrared sensors for passive acquisition out to 20 kilometers and the virtual flight bay's neural interface with probabilistic targeting where the AI designates kinetics by threat scoring. Payload integrates a single 3kg warhead with variable fusing for airburst or contact, augmented by chaff dispensers for self-preservation, and the self-protection includes laser warning receivers to cue flares against manpads. Tactically, the Altia 600M executes with predatory poise. The battery cues from a MRZR launcher on a convoy, rockets to altitude in 10 seconds, the seekers acquire a patrol at 50 kilometers, AI assigns an optimal dive from the nose cone, then executes a 6G weave while the IR sustains lock for impact, all enveloped in a 440 kilometer envelope, bridging urban skies to offshore platforms, positioning it as a doctrinal disruptor for urban air defense in flashpoint cities. The Altius 600. Loitering munitions doctrinal footprint is tectonic in Andural's attritable arsenal, fortifying US and allied forces overhead lethality to wrest low altitude supremacy in high-end skirmishes, notably across the Taiwan Strait or Donbass lines, where its modular autonomy and swarm teaming empower it to attrit armored columns from dispersed launches, interlocking with F-35S and HIMARS for decision-grade fusion that neutralizes massed threats. As Endural scales to thousands in production by 2028, it amplifies joint all-domain command and control, tandem flying with MQ-9 Reapers or synchronizing with Switchblade 600s for asymmetric overmatch, while the Altius 700M sibling amplifies its remit to heavy payload orchestration, shepherding Flox micro-drones for emergent lethality. Fun fact, the Altius 600M's modular nose can swap from ISR to strike in under five minutes, allowing mid-mission reconfiguration from recon to kamikaze. Another zinger, in Ukraine tests, it achieved 100% hits on moving armor at 1,000 meters, outpacing human-guided drones by 50% in contested EW. As of November, the Altius 600M loitering munition has surged with Taiwan's August 2025 receipt of its first batch as part of a 291-unit U.S. package, marking the island's first public training with the system at Neijiao Drone Center, while Andoril's June 2025 Paris Air Show reveal of the Altius 700M sibling highlighted its 33-pound warhead for heavier strikes. Recent U.S. Air Force MQ-9 Reaper mothership integrations in 2025 validated launches of Altia swarms for extended reach, with over $50 million in SBIR contracts through 2028 for full support. 
Challenges like payload modularity persist, but with deliveries to Ukraine and NATO allies, the Altia 600M is cementing Anderil's loitering lead. Anderil's Altia 600M loitering munition is a tube-launch titan of tactical terror, blending endurance, evolvability, and explosion to erase the enemy. What are your thoughts on the Altia 600M? Awed by its four-hour loiter, thrilled for Taiwan swarms, or intrigued by Reaper motherships? Share your insights in the comments below. Give this video a like if it detonated for you. Share it with your drone crew. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into the munitions mastering tomorrow's mayhem. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.